I'm Sarah Gilchrist. I'm a reference and instruction librarian at the RLB Library. I've, I've been here one year. And I'm going to talk about an ongoing research interest that I have, and specifically about cultural competency, which I learned today is an outdated term, and we should actually be calling it cultural humility, but how that works in the workplace. So one of the things you should know is that things are always changing. You can't just go to one thing in 1974 and expect that you understand that concept in uh, the current day and age. Um, so an introduction. I am, I've been here one year, but I have been a librarian for seven, seven years, and my background is in art and education and also art history. I'm liaison to the historians here at University of Baltimore. Um, and my research influences that are ongoing, this is an ongoing project and an applied research situation, include Dr. Nicole Cook, um, also some speak up training. I'm not sure if we've done that here on this campus, but that's one of the things that really influenced the direction that I took with this project and intergroup dialogue and universal design for learning. If you're not familiar with those terms, intergroup dialogue involves a sustained conversation over the course of eight weeks about a specific topic, like with gender, you would have a group of uh, male identified people and female identified people discussing the terms and relationships of gender identity with each other. Universal design for learning is partly from architecture, but also from education. And I think I just, oh, there we go. So what happened with this research? At, at my previous institution, we created something called Idea Sparks. We noticed that we do a lot that's student focused on the university campus or professional development that's really solo development, but we don't do a lot to apply that to the workplace. And I think I figured out why after creating the idea sparks. But they were supposed to be 14 or 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes once a month to talk to people about cultural competency. And I say we because Elise Minter, who is now at the Library of Congress, was this was her brainchild and we worked together on this. Wow. And the other thing that came out of this is um, something called the Cultural Competency Faculty Toolkit. So I was part of a group, here we can move this forward pretty quickly. So the Faculty Toolkit was part of, I'm going to try and not press the wrong button this time. <laughs> part of a diversity faculty fellowship. Um, program that I was working on and it was designed to take these ideas from the idea sparks and create modules that could be used in different uh, parts of the campus and different departments and that could be customized because of course as I mentioned this is an ongoing educational project it's not just one thing that you do that one time and then you're culturally competent uh, I think <coughs> I think there was an analogy about how it's like brushing your teeth. You don't just do it one time and expect that your teeth are clean. You brush your teeth every day. So what does that mean? Well, the idea sparks. We started out and we addressed the idea that we are containers of complex emotions, which is a really fancy way to say that we're intersectional. There are a lot of things that we're dealing with. And about three months in, we found that there was some, a lot, there were a lot of things that were supported, but also things that weren't supported. We were dealing with the concept of white fragility in the workplace and people's vulnerabilities. So we did some reflective pra practice and I actually continued that project in the next year, but gave it to the individual departments. The faculty toolkit involved all sorts of different modules with one specific group in the College of Business and Economics, and it was a series of monthly workshops 
or we really touched on ideas that they wanted to know more about. One of the things that I learned from doing these two things in an overlapping time period is that this is tricky and one thing isn't going to work perfectly for one group and not for another group. That is it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>